Oh my gosh, is that showing up backwards? I just took the time to flip everything around because it looked like it was, um, uh, when I was getting ready for this, everything appeared backwards, so I had to flip it horizontally. Oh my gosh, let me just do this real quick. Holy crap. All right. So I'm Lee Jagger, and my company is Rock the Bedroom, <laughs> and I'm flipping all of these slides around because, uh, yeah, YouTube did a number on me when I was getting ready for this. Oh my gosh. Let's just flip all of this stuff. This was all ready, and in the preview, it showed everything backwards, so I turned everything around. There we go. Now we're live. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So, <clears throat> oh, we already had two people witnessing me trying to fix everything. And th oh no, is this my phone that's back? Nope. That's my TV. I'm a little OCD. So if that's a little off, it's going to bug me. Okay. So I'm here to answer questions. Uh, I'm doing this on my phone and I, yesterday I went live for the first time using my computer, but I couldn't have this in the background because people kept asking me, you know, where do I find the free training? And I don't, didn't have this in the background because I was using my computer. I can't use my computer on YouTube in order to have these slides up. So I'm using my phone and I have to find out where the chat is here. Yeah. Okay, so please, if you have any questions, type them in the chat. Hopefully I'll be, maybe I don't see anything in the chat because there's nothing there. So if you have questions about your relationship stuff, like if you and your partner are kind of on this divergent trajectory and you're feeling like you're not really connecting in the bedroom anymore, um, or you're not connecting in your relationship in general anymore, I can help ask me questions about that. Um, if you have a low libido or if your guy has a low libido, I'm generally speaking to women, although I do have a men's course. So if there's any men who pop on who are willing to, you know, work on themselves <laughs> to make their relationship better. I'm happy to tell you about my guy's course. Um, but if you're, if you have a low libido or if your guy has a low libido and you know, they're not at the same level, there's major frustration there for the, for both people, really, for the person who's not getting as much um, affection as they want and for the person who feels pressured to give affection that they don't want to give. Um, Kelly, yes, I'm not connecting in the bedroom or at all. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Kelly, um, I, I'm wondering how long has this been going on? What is it that, um, like, are you both not interested? What, what, what are some details that are going on? I teach women. I teach women how to feel confident in the bedroom and how to save their relationship. How do I do that? Through communication um, skills that are actually really easy to learn um, and through very juicy massage techniques. So using nothing more than your hands, I can show you how to spice things up. Kelly says on and off for a while. Okay. All right. So are you, so you're with a guy currently. I'm not, I'm interested. He's not. Okay. Kelly, thank you so much for this. Um, if you're interested in connecting in the bedroom, but he is not, uh, that requires a conversation and, uh, it's probably a deeper well than I'm able to, um, he is not initiating at all. Yeah. All right. So um, that's probably a deeper well than I am able to go onto on on YouTube. But um, I will say that it requires a conversation to find out what's going on for him. Like, what is it that he's not wanting? He's trying to avoid something in the bedroom. There's something going on that he is not um, he is not cool with. Hey, Peggy. Welcome, sweetheart. Glad you're on. And so there's something that he's saying no to. There could be a lot of things that he could say yes to. You got to find out what's the no and what's the yes, you know? So maybe it's just a matter of, of 
figuring out what he does want in the bedroom or out of the bedroom. Maybe he's maybe he's more into foreplay, not so much into um, not so much into putting a pickle in a pickle jar. I have to be really. I'm watching my language here. Even though this is educational and YouTube apparently allows educational conversations like this, I'm not going to push my luck because TikTok has slapped my hand and banned me. Um, so, so if you're looking, if if he's not so interested in inter C fill in the blank, um, then you know maybe he's more into foreplay. Maybe he's maybe he's more into other things than what you guys have been doing thus far. It requires a conversation. Um, I address a lot of this in my membership, but one way to start to maybe crack open the door of communication, a conversation, is get into my free training. So if you are willing to initiate and and he's willing to let you um Oh my gosh. I wonder how I keep seeing these. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm just trying to figure something out here. Um, I'm able to see messages as they come up, but then they fade. So if I'm not done answering a question, please don't list, list a question because I can't, I don't think I can come back to your question if you, like Peggy, you just said something and I wasn't able to read it all and it's now gone and I'm not able to get that back. I don't know how I can get that back. I'm on my phone. So uh, the usability is a little bit limited. Um, so wait until I'm done answering a question before you you submit your question because I can't I can't read it and I can't come back to it that I can find yet. Um, okay, so Kelly, um, if he's willing to try something new, like you could say, "Hey, honey, I'd like to try something new in the bedroom tonight." You don't have to do a thing. Um, we're not going to do anything that we've done before. This is going to be something totally new, and you don't have to do a thing. Just let me love on you. There's going to be no inter C. Um, I, it, this is just a really yummy touch. And then go, go here, get the free training. It's called powdered sugar. Do powdered sugar technique on him. Okay. Even if, even if, um, he doesn't want you to touch private parts, that's cool. Do powdered sugar anyway. If he allows you to touch private parts, then go ahead and do that. Um, but I show you everything in the free training. Just go to rockthebedroom.com and do that on him. That'll start to crack open new possibilities. Like it'll, it'll start to introduce to him the idea that, oh, okay, we could do something new, something that I haven't said no to before that actually feels really juicy, yummy. Okay, that might help, Kelly. Um, you're welcome to send me an email. Once you're in my system, then you'll get an email from me. You can always hit reply to any of my re emails and give me a more detailed description of, of what your situation is. Okay, and maybe I can help you a little bit further. But that's a good place to start. Start with a free thing. And, um, and if he's not really willing to go there, then what I recommend is like... If he's wearing, you know, like a t-shirt or something, do powdered sugar just on his arm and his hand. Do powdered sugar just on his face. Just like a non, like an unconditional, he doesn't have to perform. This isn't going to lead to anything, you know, hot and heavy in, in the, between the sheets. Like just don't make him feel like he has to follow through and perform or reciprocate in any way. Okay, do this, do this. Um, it, 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 he may want to reciprocate down the road, but don't force him to need to reciprocate when you do this. Trust me, it, it will benefit you down the road. Okay. All right. How, hold on. Let me just hit some buttons here. Save highlight. What the heck is that? Okay. Chat viewing options. Show chat, pinch chat. You can now pin pin a message to the top. Da, 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 da. 
Uh, click any message. Okay, got it. Oh, 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 okay. Now I see, now I see the chat. All right. Now I just was able to bring it up. Okay, Peggy, what'd you say? Doug questioned out of nowhere. Um, does he, does he give the big O? What? Totally caught me off guard. What? Does he give the N O? I don't know what you mean, Peggy. You need to reword. Doug, um, does he give me the big O? Oh, he asked if what he's doing actually gives him, gives you, you know, pushes you over the edge. I think that's what you're asking. Does it? Does it not? Also, oh, there, that, there's so much to unpack there. There's so much to unpack there. Um, yeah. So, so if he's doing something that is not giving you a big O, be honest. Okay. Be honest. Do not fake it. Ladies, all ladies, not just Peggy, all ladies, please hear me on this. Um, do not fake anything. If he's not giving you a big O, don't let him believe that he is. You can say, Hey, it's okay. No, that's, that's not going to push me over the edge, but that's okay. This does feel good. It's just not going to push me over the edge. Like let him, let him know, be honest, because otherwise if, if you let him think that what he's doing is working for you and pushing you, um, over the edge, then you're saying to him, Hey, that thing that's not working for me, do it again next time. So never, ever, ever fake the big O, ladies, please. It behooves you to be honest. Even if it, it you know, hurts his, his ego just a little bit, um, you know, do it in a very gentle way. Let him know, hey, you know, that feels good. Or if it doesn't even feel good, you could say, hey, can we try something different? I just want to mix something up. I think this thing just might feel really good. Can we try it out? Instead of, hey, can we stop doing the thing that I don't like that you're doing that I just can't stand? I mean, you know, there's nice ways to say things. So instead of pointing out what he's doing wrong, you say, hey, can we try something that I'm pretty sure is going to feel really yummy? Just, you know, squirrel, let's go over this way, <laughs> you know? If he does give you a big O, then definitely let him know. Go, oh my gosh, that's feeling amazing. Keep doing that. That's, that's great you know, but either way, be honest and let them know, Hey, I don't have to have a big O every time. Like it's okay for us to just pl um, play even trauma. I don't like saying the words. He is so carefree. Okay. So Peggy, you don't, I mean, find out words that you can say, you know, like give it a word. Fireworks you know, jazz hands, whatever, like give it a word and let him in on that and say, oh yeah, fireworks or whatever. Like find words that do have a positive, relaxing, yummy, juicy connotation, you know, cantaloupe, <laughs> whatever works, whatever works for you. Um, and yeah, you choose your own language. It, you don't have to say an orgasm pickle in the jar. You are helping totally, <laughs> right? Pickle in the pickle jar. Yeah. You don't have to say, you know, the actual body parts. If that's difficult for you to say, it's okay. You know, you, you, you heal trauma just one baby step at a time. So I know you've got trauma going on. Don't do anything that feels uncomfortable. Make it so that whatever you are doing feels comfortable. Change wording if that helps. So good. Good vibes and sunshine. Any other questions? I'm digging these questions so far. You, you ladies are awesome. Um, Barbara, I wish I had someone to practice on. Okay. So Barbara, I can show you how to find people to practice on. I'm just saying, I have so many single ladies in my membership right now. Um, and we talk about dating apps and how to vet guys, how, you know, how to, how to attract a guy that may be a potential, uh, soulmate relationship, 
prospect um, or how to practice, how to find someone just to practice on. Like, hey, you're my practice buddy. This isn't going anywhere. No, you don't get to fondle me. You don't get to touch me. You don't get to kiss me. You don't, there's no reciprocation here. I'm just going to do this really nice, wonderful, amazing thing for you. No reciprocation required whatsoever. In fact, I'm not going to let you touch me but you're going to enjoy every second of this. So, you know, there are ways to find someone to practice on, whether it's a romantic interest or not. And, you know, find someone in a safe way. So I'm just saying, Barbara, you might want to, <laughs> if you want to be surrounded by women who are supporting and encouraging you and giving you great ideas, like Carrie, oh my gosh. So she's saying, well, I don't know if we can call her single anymore. She actually found a guy. Um, yeah, she's officially dating this guy now. So, um, but anyway, Carrie, she um, she did lots of really great research on, uh, yeah, total win-win, right, Peggy? <laughs> so she did some really great research on um, ideal things to put in a dating app to attract a guy. And it's really good. And we have that in the membership. Um, so, you might want to you might want to check out my membership. If you're new to my world, though, just check out the free training. See if you even um, is Carrie on here. Um, are you talking about K E R I Carrie? That Carrie? Yeah, that's who I'm talking about, Peggy. Um, so if you're not familiar with my work, go to RockTheBedroom.com. Get the free thing. If you jive with my vibe. <laughs> and you like my type of instruction and teaching. Um, it's very classy, professional. It's not icky at all. Um, we had Chris, who's in my membership, yet on here yesterday, and she's a, she's a Southern Baptist, super conservative woman. And she's like, yeah, no, I was really concerned that, that your stuff was kind of icky in the beginning, but it's not at all. Like, she gives it the thumbs up. Um, awesome, Peggy. Uh, yeah, that's the Carrie I'm talking about. She's dating this guy, Dustin, and you think it's going pretty good, really good. She did powdered sugar on his finger. Yum. Yeah. Like he was like, <gasps> and she did powdered sugar on a different guy's finger, um, who had never had any kind of spicy massage thing before, didn't even really know what it was about. So she started doing, um, no, not just powdered sugar. She was doing guacamole. She's doing onion ring. She was doing um, a few, th uh, oh, lemonade. Um, she was doing a few things on just this guy's finger. And later he confessed that he, he had to change his underwear when he got home. Let's just say <laughs> that was just on his finger. Can you imagine? down there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Pretty juicy. So, um, so yeah, but, uh, Wendy, that's one free technique that you can do on your guy tonight. It's super simple. It's powdered sugar. Like anybody can do it. It's super, super, super simple. And it just makes him feel really extra loved, extra, extra attended to like this up levels your care. Super yummy. Um, but just check out the free training. Cost you nothing. And if you, if you like my stuff, then there's more if you want to go deeper. And I can show you how to find a guy to practice on. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, any other questions here? I'm here to take questions from people. There's only three people in this room. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, give it a like. Give this a like. It's, um, the like button is under my name on the screen, hit that. It might convince the algorithm that we, you know, <clears throat> we're live and <laughs> present this in front of more people's faces. Um, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> Peggy, even though you're a retired nurse, trauma's trauma. It don't matter. Don't matter. I gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? I'm, I'm not here to give you a lecture. I'm not here to really do a webinar or anything. I don't have anything planned. This is all off the, off the cuff. It's unscripted. I'm here to answer your questions. So if you have questions about bedroom stuff, if your guy has ED, if you have a low libido, if your guy has a lower libido than you, um, if things in the bedroom are painful, if 
putting his pickle in your pickle jar is um, is painful for whatever reason. Maybe you've got dryness down there, postmenopausal, um, and there's dryness, or you've got vaginismus where you know the canal is is um, it constricted, and so he's just too big to enter. Um, doesn't matter the reason. If it's uncomfortable, there are options for you. There are different options, and I'm here to give you those. Um, if things are feeling kind of same old, same old, if it feels like things are a chore in the bedroom, I'm here to help you out, answer your questions. Um, if you've got any kind of trauma that's affecting your love life, I'm here to help you, definitely. Um, I've had so many women with trauma be able to reconnect with their guy who they, they had PTSD, even though their guy was not the um, victimizer, um, women still feel like treat their guy with a PTSD kind of reaction um, as if he were the perpetrator. So I'm, I'm here to help you get past that so that you can reconnect in the bedroom and keep your relationship awesome, juicy and fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. In and out of the bedroom. Um, and if you're new to my world, go to rockthebedroom.com. There's free training waiting for you. Uh, any other questions? If there's no questions, I'm just going to jump off. It's two people, so I don't know how many questions there could be, but I am here if you two ladies <laughs> do have questions or, well, I don't know if they're ladies. I can't tell. I have another question, but sometimes when I go down under, I scrap, scrape him. Is there another something I can do? Yes. Okay. Kelly, you got to get in my world. All right, so do you have fingernails, like long fingernails? Um, I do teach juicy massage. Like, I'm not, are you talking about using your hands and you're scraping him with your fingernails? Is that what you're talking about? Please let me know. Um, or are your teeth scraping him? Like, what's going on? <laughs> um, I said scrap him, but I'm assuming you meant scrape him. Um, yeah, the, I mean, it's definitely easier to do juicy massage. Um, if you don't have fingernails like me, I have very, very, very short fingernails. Um, but there are ways to do lots of things, even if you've got fingernails and you want to go slow, slow equals moan, slow equals moan. Kelly, that's the first thing. If you're scraping them, you're going too fast. And I know there's some times where he's like speeded up. Yeah, I want you to go faster. I'm going to tell you something totally counterintuitive here. The more he wants you to go fast, the more, um, I, the more I want you to go slow. Like slow, slow, slow. You can speed it up and then slow it down. And do lots of different slow stuff. And then you can speed things up. Or get try slow but very juicy things that that not really long nails, no teeth. Okay, how are you scraping him, Kelly? Like, what's happening? What what's going on to scrape him? Like, are you wearing rings? <laughs> Do you have like dry, chafed skin? Like, what are you using your hands? What are you using to scrape him? Elaborate, please. I need more information to answer your question. <laughs> I have a great solution and it's going to sound like the same old thing. Go here, get some free training. You're going to want more. Um, the membership is only like 69 bucks a month and I give you new techniques every month plus weekly coaching calls. Like there's so many, there's over 69 different things that you can do using nothing more than your hands down there. So there's so much that you can do that I've never had a client of mine say, yeah, I've, I'm scraping my guy. Not the way I teach. None of the techniques I teach, um, unless you have very long, very pointy fingernails. And even there, there's, there are modifications I can give you. But if you don't really have fingernails, um, then you shouldn't be scraping him. Um, at least not with the stuff that, oh, your teeth. Okay. With your teeth. Okay. Uh, Kelly, if you're not comfy sharing in the live, Lee, Lee does have email. Use that all the time. <laughs> yeah, Peggy does use my email all the time. <laughs> um, okay, so Kelly, if your teeth are scraped, yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to, I, I get it. 
There's, there's things that you can do with your hands, Kelly, that feel better than your mouth. In fact, uh, Tina, who was on here yesterday, she just, Peggy, she just signed up for my membership. She's in Winnipeg. Oh my God. Even with the Canadian dollar as crazy as it is, she signed up last night for a whole year. It's so good. Okay. Although my membership is a monthly membership, but you just save two months if you get, if you get the whole year. It doesn't matter. So Tina, the reason why I bring up Tina is because she did my Rock the Bedroom Challenge. Where, um, so I, <sighs> wrap your lips over your teeth. Yeah, but sometimes it's it's hard to, like, depending on, uh, some people's teeth sit lower in their mouth than their lips. So I, I understand where Kelly's coming from. Mine are the same way. It's really hard for me to not scrape my teeth um, on the pickle, not pickle. Um, so I get you, Kelly. There are things that you can do with your hands that feel better than your mouth. Tina was doing um, a technique called guacamole. On, I name all my techniques after food. It makes it easier to remember them. She was doing guacamole on her guy, Alex. Alex had a little um, cloth over his eyes so that he couldn't see what she was doing. It was sort of a little spa experience that she was giving him. And she, afterwards, you know, Alex said to her, that thing that you were doing with your mouth, God, I really love that. And she's like, I never used my mouth. <laughs> she was using her thumbs. And he thought she was using her mouth. Like, these are such juicy, juicy techniques. Um, yeah, you don't need to use your mouth at all to totally make your guy see God. I'm not kidding you. Kelly, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to want to jump in my world. Um, I, I'm, I mean, you can combine stuff with your mouth using your hands as well that, you know, totally blow them away that are not going to sc scrape your teeth on his pickle. But, um, but I will say that you, you don't, you don't ever have to put your mouth on him to totally make him go down a wormhole and into a different dimension. Like seriously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> like, okay. So I just released a couple days ago a post. I don't know if you follow me on social media, but there's a there's a video called My BF's Testimonial. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is right now. So <laughs> I'll never forget this. So I'm, I'm in the middle of, or I'm sort of on the tail end of doing what I'm doing on my guy, using nothing more than my hands. And he's like, Lee, what you do, it's like, you know, I think what everyone else is doing in the bedroom is like Cessna. I don't know if I can say the word even on YouTube. Cessna Smex. Let's just say Smex. Okay. Cessna Smex. Everyone's having Cessna Smex. You know, like it's pretty good. You're in an airplane. The propellers are going. You take off. You're up in the air. You're zooming around. You're flying. Right? It's not bad. It's pretty good. That's what most people are doing in the bedroom is Cessna smacks. And he said, Lee, but what you do is you put me in a commercial airliner and the jets are like whoo, going real fast. And we're like zooming all over the place so fast. And you're taking me all over the planet and making me see things I've never seen and felt before. Like, it's just like, whoo. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll take that. That's awesome. And he goes, no, but wait. It's even better than that. Then you put me in a rocket ship and then you blast me through the, the atmosphere and we're going around the rings of Saturn and through wormholes and into different dimensions. And I don't even, I can't even imagine what you're doing to me. Like I, I don't even know what you're doing. It feels like I've left my body, but I can still feel things. I have to actually look open my eyes and look down to make sure that my thing is still attached because it's like, I don't even know what's happening. And, and he, he's like, that's what you do. Everyone else is having Cessna smacks, but you put me in a rocket ship and take me to a different dimension using nothing more than my hands. Those words came from a guy. 
And you know guys, like, there's, I mean, putting a pickle in a pickle jar, his pickle in your pickle jar, that's like the typical pinnacle for men, right? That's what they're all, all roads lead there. That's what they're wanting more than anything, right? And, and, and my guy included. <laughs> no Cessna in my house. No, not in Peggy's house. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, she's zooming around the cosmos. Um, but th- this came from a guy who likes pickle in a pickle jar. And like, I'm dry and I d- it's not, that's not working for me at this point in my life. Plus, my specialty is using my hands. And so what I do with nothing more than my hands, not even incorporating my mouth, although you can, in, you know, use in combination, but using nothing more than my hands, rocket ship smacks. I'm telling you, this is powerful stuff. And when you think of using your hands, you know, at handy, um, that seems very like plain up and down. Like, really? That's not that great. Like guys aren't going to choose that over inter C, right? Wrong. Not the way that I teach it. Like if you're going plain old up and down, that's 101 and you're doing, and you're probably going way too fast. And, um, yeah, that's, that's not what I teach at all. I could show you over 69 different things to do with just your hands to blow him away. Just saying, just saying rocket ship. You want to do rocket ship in the bedroom. You don't want to do Cessna. No. Anyone can do Cessna. That's what everybody's doing is Cessna. I'm thinking, wow, this is great. And a lot of people are like, yeah, I'm never in the mood. Well, no wonder. No one's in the mood to take a lousy, loud Cessna bumpy ride. It's like, oh, same old, same old, same old. No, 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 no. Spice things up. That's why my membership is called Spice It Up. (laughs) Because we spice things up in the bedroom. If your bedroom is not feeling really spicy, you're doing it wrong. And I don't mean that to be blamey. I mean that to say, hey, there's a way to do it right. It's super easy, actually. It's not very difficult, right, Peggy? It's not very difficult, the stuff I'm teaching. It's very step-by-step. I show you, I break it all down, very, very beginner-friendly. And and it makes such a huge impact. The tiniest little thing, little guacamole. And it's like, woo, on your guy. Super easy for you to do, but totally blows him away. Thoughts on C-rings. Peggy, look at you. You're getting all spicy on me. He was mentioning, I'm not fond of the idea. Um, I don't know. I mean, usually the rings... Um, if you're talking about the rings that are placed at the base, it's basically to keep the blood flow, the blood in the pickle to keep it standing at attention. Trying to get all creative with my language here. Um, That is not required. I mean, when he is, when he has a hard pickle, it sometimes feels better like the sensation is act does actually feel a little bit better to him. So, I mean, it doesn't matter to me um, whether a guy uses a ring or not. Sure. Um, but it's not necessary. I would, if he wants to try it, Peggy, I would allow him to do it because it's really not going to get in your way at all. Um, I mean, it's a foreign body. So I, it, it, it kind of gets in my way a little bit, but it's easy to accommodate. It totally is easy to accommodate. Like <clears throat> you could still do all the things even with that ring there. So if it feels better for him to be a little more engorged, then yeah, let it do it. Just try it. You explain and help with conversation. No, what you're saying no to what you explain and help with conversation. Well, yeah, it's definitely one thing that I do, uh, for the other two people in this room. Um, 
is, yeah, I definitely help with conversation. Like communication in the bedroom is so important, people, so important. If there are issues in the bedroom that you're having right now, I'd say like almost all problems in the bedroom can be resolved with better communication alone. Better communication. Even if it's something like, I don't like it when he does this thing physically. Well, you're not having conversation about that in a way that you both can hear and understand each other. Like maybe you've talked about it, but then it ended up in a fight and you're pushing against each other and you're defending, you know, your, your stance. No, we're not talking about that kind of conversation. We're talking about a loving, compassionate, understanding kind of conversation. I teach that. Yes. So yeah, while I teach really juicy techniques, there's a lot more to it than just the physical techniques. Because I can teach you to do a whole bunch of juicy things in the bedroom, but unless you get some decent communication skills under your belt, it's just a Band-Aid on a gushing wound, right? So, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm rolling... Peggy, what are you talking about? I'm rolling. Like, are you in a car? (laughs) You help with the words. Yeah. I'm so glad that you said that. Yeah. It's, you just don't, we don't have the words to say. Like, that's why women fake it, right? We don't have the words. We don't have the word. We don't know how to say the thing that we wish we could say without hurting his feelings, without starting a fight, without bruising his ego, you know, without looking like a prude. We just don't have the words. I help give you the words. I'm, yeah, I'm getting real good at giving you words. (laughs) Just through personal experience, I've learned a lot about words. Yeah. And I'm happy to pass those along. So every, okay. So Peggy, I think you're the only one left in here. So I'm going to go and save my voice. And, um, I'm also thinking of, like, I have two phones. One used to be my work phone. I don't really use it anymore, but what I'm thinking of doing Peggy is going live on YouTube, but also with my other phone. Cause I have a, I have to find it. It's my shed somewhere. I have to find the, the two phone holder ring light thingy, my Bob. So I can have two iPhones up, um, and I can be on YouTube with one phone and on TikTok on my second account, Rock the Bedroom One, the number one, not O-N-E, but the number one. My second account on TikTok to, um, oh, the Cessna story. Thank you. Um, thank you for clarifying that. Um So yeah, I'm thinking of going live simultaneously on YouTube and on TikTok to try to maybe build up my um, TikTok following a little bit. Um, I don't know how many followers I've got. I think I've got, I think I've got over 18, uh, over 15, at least 15,000 followers on my second TikTok account. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to start posting a lot more on there um, to get the algorithm to boost me a little bit. And then maybe go on there and build that up a little bit. We'll, we'll see. But, um, but I'll keep going live on, on YouTube Monday through Friday. Anyway, at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Um, you are an incredible weekend. <laughs> I am an incredible weekend. <laughs> I will have an incredible weekend. I'm going to do a lot of fun stuff on the weekend. I'm going to a celebration of life tomorrow. My neighbor's son died, oh my gosh, of an overdose. So we're going to that. I'm so happy to help support her tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I'm going to hang out with a few of my closest friends. Um, so, and tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be on live on Zoom, uh, being broadcast into Austin, Texas to receive the $10,000 on the contest. <laughs> Sunday night. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to put on a sparkly dress and like have some balloons in the background or something. Just kind of woohoo. Little like, I don't know. I'll I'll get some, maybe a party hat. I don't know. 
but um, that's going to be super fun. I couldn't fly into Austin to be on the stage, so they're going to Zoom me in. <laughs> that's on Sunday. It's going to be a fun weekend. Yeah. So I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you for tuning in. I will be back on Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific time to answer questions that you have about the bedroom. Um, I'm down with it. I watch with you and email with laptop. Sweet. Awesome. Awesome. Peggy, you have a great weekend. Say hi to Doug for me. <laughs> and um, if the other person who is on here, anyone else who is not um, familiar with my, my trainings, go here, rockthebedroom.com. There's a free training on how to spice things up in the bedroom. It's for women, although a guy can do powdered sugar on a woman too, but all the rest of my trainings are really for women. Okay, so go have a fabulous weekend. And um, let me see, I'm not even sure how to how to stop this live. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. <laughs> oh, there we go. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday at 